You must speak. <coughs> Good boy. Come on, man. We cheated. All right, I'm gonna do this video off my phone. It's got a crack and a header off of Miss Hannah's Malibu. The phone picks up the crack better than my eyes do, but I think I think I've drilled a hole at the end of that crack. And went around, drilled another hole at the other end of it, crack up underneath there. And we'll mig, mig that up. Hopefully it'll hold. If it don't, I ain't got the money to spend on another damn heller. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that if it comes about, but I, I'm a weld about. A half inch and let it cool down by another half inch let it cool down I'm gonna preheat it with a torch and uh, just with the uh, low propane torch I'm gonna heat it up get a little warm put a little weld on it and then stop and let it cool down a little bit and put another little weld on it I don't know maybe I'll look look this up before I start I welded stuff up like this before and pinged it, which took a punch or a ping and hammer and tap it as after I got done. And it keeps it from stress cracking, what I've always been told. The guy I worked with, that's why he always done cast iron. He would weld and he'd tap it. He'd tap it. And it never did crack the side of it that I've seen him do. Now, I have had some that crack right beside where it done, but I didn't give a shit. <clears throat> Take a pick and hammer like this and pick it after you get it done. Welding on it. Supposedly, it spreads out the weld or heat or something like that. and It don't uh, stress crack. All right, then. Just a little video off the phone. Might look this up right quick. And make sure I don't make some kind of mistake. I don't know nobody asked about it. I asked 10 people and get 10 different answers. It's all right. Later. Well, it's done now. All right, well, migged it. Done a little cleanup on it with a briar brush and uh, been tapping on it, letting it cool down. It's good and cool now. No stress cracks that I can see. Didn't weld up the best you've ever seen, but uh, uh, I don't know. I threw the gas to it. Well, anyway, Hobart. But, uh, <coughs> I ran out of wire. It wouldn't really look so bad if it wasn't, if it didn't take that ping and hammer and hit it. But, like I said, I've learned from a cat. I just texted him a few minutes ago, well, but I will go and ask him. I said, uh, "Do this like we used to do them," and he said, "Yeah." He said he had any trouble with them, uh, and he used to work for a place called Key Block. They would weld blocks up four or five different ways. But 
this right here is kind of screwed up. <laughs> Look where the gasket goes. It, it ain't, I hate to remove any material in here because it's already kind of thin. At least I think. I don't know if it feels kind of thick, but I don't want to thin it out any. And, uh, risk it cracking anymore. But, as you can see, I got weld through the hole. And that's what I've always been taught to do with this. Go to the end of the crack, drill a hole. And they said the weld, I mean, the, the crack won't go around the uh, hole you drilled in it. Now, I fixed a bunch of them like that, so we're going to try this one. I don't think it looks too bad. Just wouldn't beat all the hell with a pinging hammer, but you know, it's cast iron, it don't weld but so good. It don't weld but so good. I did take the uh, oxygen sense out of it. it. You see the way this uh, head is, it comes off, starts getting hot right along in here. Bottles up, gets hot by right here. It needs a whole nother head on it. All these things are bottling up into one and creating uh, back pressure or heat where it ain't letting it all out. It's got to hit that uh, that uh, converter. But uh, like to me, it stood it out just a little bit. But I kind of like the way they got this converter in here. Be able to steal it. Be a bitch to steal. Thank God. Things are high. All right then. Let me get back quiet later.